How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White 2. Last time, we were on Route 5, we learned about a new mechanic in the game called Hidden Grottoes, and then we faced off against a motorcyclist, who's a heartbreaker, whose name is Charles, in a triple battle, which was introduced in Pokemon Black and White. In Pokemon Black 2, you would face Charles in a rotation battle instead, which is yet another new battle mechanic introduced in Black and White. And then we crossed the Driftvale Drawbridge, and now we're here in, well, Driftvale City. So without any further ado, we're actually going to make our way into the city, if I can... Is it right here? Where is it? There it is. A hidden Ultra Ball is here in this park area. It's one of those obscure hidden items that I somehow remember. I don't know, it's weird. It usually happens in like every Pokemon game. There's some hidden items I just remember. Anyway, I could stare at this beautiful introductory statue all day, but I need to handle some business. So let's cross over into Driftvale, but first, Team Plasma? Old and new? Come on, let's have fun stealing Pokemon together, like we did before. I can't. I've learned the hard way that stealing from others is wrong. Oh, come on. It's too late to start acting all goody-two-shoes now. People don't understand our just cause. Don't, don't they call you a villain who was plotting world domination? Even though you quit Team Plasma, People are still really cold to you, right? So you might as well just come steal Pokemon with us and take over the world. The people who are mean to you now will be groveling at your feet and saying how great you are. I can't. My Lord N will be sad. I can't do that to him. N. Team Plasma's king. What a joke. He's nothing more than a traitor. He disappeared somewhere, and abandoned us when we needed him. Hey! Start talking, you Team Plasma trash! Ow. You're gonna pay for that. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I'm not supposed to cause any trouble. I'll get you next time. You're not getting away. I'm okay. We were friends when we were both in Team Plasma, but two years ago, Team Plasma split into a group that follows Lord N, who just wants to save Pokemon, and a group that follows Getsis, who plans to take over the world. You can hear the rest of the story in our home. It's on that little hill next to the Pokemon Gym. Well, that's one way to be introduced to Driftvale City. Team Plasma old and new coming together and basically fighting uh, on behalf of their beliefs. Anyway, Driftvale City's a little bit different in the two years between Black and White and Black 2 and White 2. There are now hotels all around Driftvale City that look like they're made out of emerald from Clay's underground mine. And I believe there are some items to pick up when it comes to some of these, including this shell bell from this old man for having seen 70 unique Pokemon. And the shell bell is the item I was thinking of before when we got the soothe bell that raises HP by a little bit depending on uh, the inflicted amount of HP you deal during battle. So I'm gonna go around these hotels kind of in like a uh, quick fashion and just show off any important items that I get because there's a couple of these hotels here, and it's gonna take a while, so with that being said, I will see you when we collect some important items, I guess. In the southmost hotel in Driftvale City, this woman will request a favor, a daily favor. She will ask for uh, one of your Pokemon to show off a move, a specific move, that she wants to see. And if you show her a Pokemon with that move, then she will give you a heart scale. And that is able to be refreshed every single day. On the 23rd floor of that very same building, this waiter will give you an Everstone, which is an item 
that allows base stage Pokemon to never evolve. On the 25th floor of the hotel to the right of the Pokemon Center, if you talk to this veteran right here, he will give you a big root. This area is known as the Driftvale Market. You can buy certain items such as herbs and other things. I believe you actually level 30 or more. Oh, you do give me an item. You give me an expert belt. Well then, cool. I actually forgot that you gave me an item. Uh, anyway, you sell Moo Moo Milk. What do you have to say actually? Oh, you sell incenses. Okay, so some incenses um, allow you to breed certain Pokemon. Uh, for example, if you give a full incense to a Snorlax, you can breed Munchlax, and with Rose Incense, I think it is, you can breed Rose, uh, Budoos from Roselia. And there are probably a couple other ones that I'm forgetting, but those are the ones I mainly remember. And some of them also increase, uh, mo types of moves and certain other effects. Anyway, um, I think... I think there's one more thing to grab here near the Driftville Market. By the way, Heartbreaker Charles is actually over here. Actually, he... I... Anyway, this is TM63 Embargo. I'm, I'm kind of like thinking, wait a minute, doesn't Charles, um... If I'm correct, I think... Depending on which version you're playing, I think Charles will do the opposite battle than the one you did on Route 5. I'm a Heartbreaker. My name... Charles. Want to get the attention of a girl? Yes! You want to do a rotation battle! In Black 2, you would have already done a rotation battle, but in Black 2, here in Driftvale, he'll want to do a triple battle. Yeah, I'll do one. Let's do this. Let's do a rotation battle. That way it'll be shown off at least in the series. Because I'm. Um, I think the only other opportunity we get to do a rotation battle is like. Oh god, I don't even remember, but it's I don't think it's for a little while longer. Uh, but he still has the same Pokemon, Sigilith, Arkin, and Tirtuga. Uh, just the thing with rotation battles is now you can exchange where your Pokemon is on the slot field. So, as you can see, you can see these little symbols to turn on the bottom. So I can go to uh, Excadrill right there. Or I could go to Sigilith. I think I'm going to go to Excadrill and I'm going to use Rock Slide. Let's see. Oh, you go to Arkin. Okay. Well, we are, we are going to hit Rock Slide and that's super effective. So there we go. Down goes Arkin. The only thing I have to worry about is uh, that Tier 2 -ga. And you might actually switch to Tier 2 -ga. Should I make the play? Should I go for Earthquake expecting the switch? I'm going to do it. Oh my god, get predicted. Oh wait, you used wide guard. Oh, I wanted to, I want, damn it, why did you, oh, I should have went for rock slide, I knew he was going to do that again. Why'd you have to go for, why'd you do have to do that, AI? I wanted to do the, uh, I wanted to insert the air horn sound effect, I've been meaning to find a way to put that in a video. Are you kidding me, can I please have you hit the move? Oh my god. What is with the avoiding of the- I know Rock Slide doesn't have complete accuracy, but this is getting ridiculous. Oh my god, are you kidding me? And now I'm being forced out. Are you serious? Oh my- <laughs> Watch Hog that I still have on my team. Hey, how you doing, Watch Hog? You know what, Watch Hog, you- <laughs> This is the funniest thing ever. Um... Alright, let's just use Super... F oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> okay, I need to control myself. <laughs> I just wanna... I just wanna curl in a fetal position and just laugh. <laughs> this is so amazing and ridiculous. Alright. Charles just keeps switching, man. Charles, what are you doing, dude? Oh, you're whirlwinding me again, okay. I, that's all you Sigiliths do, apparently. All you do is Whirlwind. Hey, look, we're back to <laughs> Excadrill. I'm gonna just use Strength, because that's the safe play, instead of trying to rely on, of course, Wide Guard again. You know, oh, never mind it. Oh, so Rock Slide missing was just the fact that Rock Slide's inaccurate. Okay. Well, that's great. 
<laughs> and Watchhog's gonna gain experience. Uh, this is probably the greatest battle that will ever be in the series, and I'm so glad that I'm not cutting it out, even though I probably should. Down goes Sigilith. Experience for everybody, watch Hog level 22, <laughs> hooray. And once again, we have defeated motorcyclist slash heartbreaker, Charles. Yeah, Charles, it's, uh, oh, new dialogue. Still, you have potential. You have to understand your Pokemon to win a rotation battle. If you want more rotation battles, go to the Pokemon World Tournament. Ah, something that we haven't discovered yet, Charles. Why you have to speak up on stuff that we haven't experienced yet? Anyway, there's actually one more hotel directly behind the Driftvale Market, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to do it in the, um cutaways between, you know, the different hotels, because this one's pretty important. This one holds the Move Tutor, who loves Red Shards, and conveniently enough, a kind individual in the Nimbasa City Pokemon Center gifted me like 10. So what I want to do is I immediately want to use four Red Shards, and I want to teach Excadrill Ironhead. And you can only teach Excadrill Ironhead yeah, at least in Generation 5. It might learn it naturally in other generations following this one. But, um, you can only teach it through Move Tutor. So I'm teaching it Move Tutor. Uh, I'm teaching it Move Tutor. Yes, by using the Iron Head. I'm teaching it Iron Head. Gonna give up four red shards. And, yeah, that's that. And now, I want to use four more. Now. Nobody can learn Seed Bomb, I think. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I couldn't do that anyway. I, ra <laughs> I, I only had 11 to begin with, and I kind of wasted the opportunity for that. I think I want to try teaching Signal Beam to Larvesta, and Larvesta can so can Sigilith. But it's the same type of attack bonus on Larvesta. We are teaching Larvesta Signal Beam. And, I mean, come on. Even though Larvesta's a attack stat is higher than its special attack stat. 75 power compared to 20, because this isn't Gen 7 yet, they didn't replace Diggs TM with Leech Life, so the 80 power doesn't apply yet. Yeah, I'm, te I'm teaching uh, Signal Beam over Leech Life. Gives a, a, a more powerful bug type move to Larvesta. There we go, Signal Beam, and now I only have three red shards. Anyway, I don't know if there's any important items here. There might be. I don't know. I don't recall there being any, but I'm gonna talk to people anyway. Uh, hello, Psychic. How are you? Learn something, blah, blah. Okay, I think maybe this is a... Okay, that that is a good tidbit. Pokemon do evolve by trading. Uh, I'm not sure how many do are available in this game that do that, but... Probably a decent amount, I don't know. Anyway, do you give me something? Oh, of course you do. Air Balloon! Oh, Air Balloon is such a good item in the metagame, especially on ground-type Pokémon. Uh, Air Balloon basically allows, like... Obviously, it allows immunity for, um... Pokémon on the ground, so it would be very good for, like, an Electric-type. Um, against ground types. Uh, it, it's just such a good, good metagame item. Air, I can't... <laughs> it's hard to explain how Air Balloon properly works, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, I probably could, but it's late at night. I'm kind of fatigued when I'm recording, so... I just want to get this over with. Anyway! <laughs> this recording's such a hilarious disaster. Uh, since we did battle Charles, my Pokemon are a little bit on the weary side, so I'm gonna head into the Pokemon Center really quickly, and then we will finally listen to the story of Old Team Plasma here in Driftvale. So, excuse me for one moment. Oh, free luxury balls from this worker here on the top floor of the Pokemon Center. Not bad. Alright, well, Pokemon all healed up, and now it's time to- Oh, hey, what's over here? Hello. 
Construction on a shortcut to Twist Mountain has started, but it's going to take a while cause digging's difficult. Of course it is, well that won't be available to us for a very very long time anyway, oh hello. What is this? Sir, that's the person I was talking about. Over here, this way. Oh, so you're interested in Team Plasma, are you? If you hear what we have to say, you might be able to understand us. My guest, if you're going to come inside, I would like to see what kind of person you are, trainer. That's right, in a Pokemon battle. Do you find this acceptable? Sure, I'm used to Pokemon battling. Then let us begin. Here we go, we have been challenged by Pokemon Trainer Rude, who also happens to be an X7 Sage for Team Plasma, and he's going to start out with Hurtier, level 24 in easy mode, level 27 in normal mode, wait did I say normal then, level 24 in easy mode, 27 in, I, oh my god it really is late, 24 in easy, 27 in normal, 30 in challenge, there we go, Jesus. Normal type, intimidate for the ability. With the moves, take down, work up, crunch, and helping in. This really is like the best and worst recording at the same time. I don't understand. I really need to stop recording late at night. But, uh, oh, he just used work up. Luckily, uh, we're faster, thank goodness. And also, we are in the rain, so boosted attacks thanks to, uh, the water. Level 31 for Frillish, excellent. And next up is going to be his uh, Ace Pokemon, although they're the same levels, technically speaking. Nonetheless, Swoobat, level 24 in Easy, 27 in Normal, and 30 in Challenge Mode. Psychic Flying type, unaware for the ability, with the moves. Heart Stamp, Air Cutter, Imprison, as it just used, and attract. Hey, I kind of got through listing off Swoobat's moves without a flub. Almost got it there at the beginning of reading off the move set, but I did it! Yay! <laughs> we defeated Pokemon Trainer Rude. I apologize for testing you. Being former members of Team Plasma, we must deal with a lot. He got away. And that is... Your friend? Oh, he may join us. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Rude. You guys are all Team Plasma too, right? Tell me, what makes you different from the Team Plasma back there? More accurately, we are former members of Team Plasma. Because of the incident two years ago, we started taking care of the Pokemon that were separated from their trainers as a way to atone for our misdeeds. And you are? I'm AJ. I'm from Aspertius City. Five years ago, Team Plasma, I mean you, stole my little sister's Pokemon. I'm the pathetic trainer who wasn't able to stop you. Separated? What a joke. You were the thieves who stole them. Is that so? My sincerest apologies. Just an apology? That's it? Where's my sister's Pokemon? Purloin. Where's Purloin? The Pokemon you speak of is not in this place. I imagine it is still being used by Team Plasma of now. Just as you say, our apologizing doesn't solve anything. But you can't move forward unless you admit you were wrong and apologize. Enough already. Apologizing isn't going to get back my sister's Pokemon. James, I'm going to the Pokemon Gym. I'll get stronger and crush every single member of Team Plasma. Team Plasma made trainers like him suffer. 
I feel terrible about it. How foolish we were. James, as you can see, I can't do anything to thank you. Actually, I have a favor to ask of you. Could you please look after this Pokemon, Zorua? Sure, it's nice and cute and cuddly. Oh, thank you. And there you have it. We have received a Zorua. No Celebi event this time. This Zorua was one of my Lord N's friends, and it supported him. In the Unova region, there are many other Pokemon that helped my Lord N besides this Zorua. And yes, there we go. We received N Zorua, so if you didn't activate the memory link, and have not caught any of N's Pokemon in the Desert Resort, then you can get N's Zorua right here. Hasty Nature, as always. Illusion. Ooh, up speed, which is good. Uh, Fury Swipes, Faint Attack, Scary Face, and Dawn. Not too bad. Alright. And I think there's some other things we can do in here. We can change the future. Is there anything else? Taking your Pokemon trainers find. Arrogant all alone. Wait, I'm waiting for my Lord N to return. He can talk to Pokemon. If he comes back, we can find out what the Pokemon here want. Yes, because apparently N can talk to Pokemon. Hey, hello. The Pokemon has become attached to me. That's why I'm treating it like a friend and not like a tool. Interesting. Anyway. This right here is, oh god, what are their names? Uh, some Concordia and I can't remember. Anyway, uh, they're talking about how N was an orphan and how Getsis adopted him. He was living in the woods with a Darmanitan and Azorua, the one we just received. Then Getsis took him in. Yeah, uh, those are his uh, foster step-siblings or something. I can't remember. I foster siblings? Uh, oh god, it's killing me. I know one of their names is Concordia. What the heck? It starts with an A. I can't even remember it. Um, future me, uh, please look up the name of the sister that starts with an A and then insert it right here. Her name is Anthea, you stupid idiot. Thank you. Anyway, uh, that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon White 2, although I do have you to say, okay, yeah, former Team Plasma. Although, isn't there a thing I can do right- Oh, hello! I wasn't expecting you here! Did you hear? Did I hear what? Well... I ran into some of our old allies. Oh, those who are still in Team Plasma? They tried to convince me to rejoin. Seriously? Well, quite a few of them are still in the organization. Lord Getsis, no, 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 just Getsis. I guess he was actually pretty good. He's awesome, <laughs> just kidding. What? How dare you say that? How can you say such a thing, even after you know what he's done to Lord N? Of course, that was disgusting. But even if you live honestly, I'm telling you, the world is cold. As if you were surrounded by Cryogonal. Yeah, you're right. It has flaws, but Team Plasma is Team Plasma. Don't you think we could have gone to a region far away? Organizations like Team Plasma must exist everywhere. We might have gotten favorable treatment because of our experience. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And did I mention stupid? It all adds up to nincompoop. Ouch, 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 ouch. We have to do something for Pokemon. Did you forget that? Honestly, I I'm sorry, but Pokemon have a hard time too, don't you think? Once they are in Pokeballs, that's it. That might happen. Still, do they really like their trainers? Yeah, 
but Lord N was listening to such feelings and words from Pokemon. Just imagining it can break my heart. Lord N. I wonder where he is. Now, let's go find the Pokemon in N's castle. We have to protect them. I'm here, though. I've been worried about the people who've believed in me. But it seems they know what they can do for Pokemon in their own ways. Compared to them, what was I doing? What I really should have done was tell people about how Pokemon feel. The legendary Dragon-type Pokemon knew that. It has lived long and known many people. It knew humans and Pokemon have lived to and will live together. It knew that in this relationship, humans' actions have an enormous impact on Pokemon. That's why it helps the one who searches for truth. The one who opens the way to the future. It's not necessary. Separating black from white and humans from Pokemon. If you think in terms of each individual life, this world was in a state that couldn't be divided any further. Possibilities are born out of combining and fusing these different lives. There are some things we can understand only by doing this. It will give form to unseen things. These formulas will restructure the world and make it richer. From their Pokeballs, I can hear the many different feelings Pokemon have about their trainers. More than anything, I can hear their joy that they met people who need them. I'll go. For Pokemon, for trainers, and for all lives. And for my friends who saved me. Well, that was interesting, but why Azorwark was there and why Azorwark triggered it, I do not know. Anyways, like I said, that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon White 2. The only thing left for us to do in Driftvale City is to challenge the Driftvale Gym. Hey, AJ, how's it going, man? I'm going to speak to you next time. All right. Until then, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.